Hello and welcome to our channel where we explore the world of Odoo. Odoo 18 has been launched, but if you're new to Odoo development or just begin to learn Odoo 17 development, you may be wondering how to develop modules across different Odoo versions. In this video, I'll be sharing a simple setup to accommodate development for both Odoo 17 and Odoo 18 using VS Code. The first step is to install the requirements. Fortunately, the requirements are similar so we can still use our development setup for Odoo 17. If you haven't set up your development environment yet, please watch my previous video on how to set up development environment for Odoo 17 for information about the requirements. Simply put, the requirements are Python, pip, PostgreSQL, Git, Visual Studio Build Tools, WKHTML to PDF, and of course VS Code. To develop for multiple versions of Odoo, it's essential to differentiate between each version easily. The simplest way is to include the version number in the directory name. Unfortunately, Python virtual environments are not portable, which means we need to recreate the virtual environment and reinstall the required Python libraries for Odoo 17. To restructure the directory, first rename the directory to Odoo 17.0, then create new directory and name it Odoo, and then move Odoo 17 directory into the new Odoo directory. Delete the virtual environment directory, then recreate the virtual environment. Finally activate the virtual environment and reinstall Odoo 17 requirements, including setup tools and wheel package. The next step is to reconfigure Odoo 17. Open VS Code and open the folder Odoo 17.0. Open Odoo configuration file and adjust the add-in path and other parameters to point to the new directory, and then test the changes by running Odoo as usual. To set up development for Odoo 18 we can repeat the same steps as before. First, clone the Odoo repository using git clone with the 18 branch and a different destination directory. If you have a slow internet connection, consider adding the depth parameter to only clone the latest commits. Next, create new virtual environment and install the required Python libraries. The last step is to set up VS Code to run Odoo 18. Since we already have a working setup for Odoo 17, we can copy some of the configuration from it. Open two instances of VS Code, one for Odoo 17 and one for Odoo 18. Copy the .VS Code folder from the Odoo 17 directory to the Odoo 18 directory. On VS Code for Odoo 18, open terminal window to create Odoo configuration file. Make sure the virtual environment is active, then run odubin as shown. Open the configuration file and copy the values from the odoo 17 configuration file for PostgreSQL user and password, data directory, and bin path. Adjust them if necessary.
We also need to set the database filter to prevent opening databases other than what we specify. In this case we set it to only use databases with its name ending with number 18. Run Odoo 18 by pressing F5 key or navigating to Run and Debug tab and click Start Debugging button. Create new profile on your browser and open localhost 8069. Remember which profile is associated with each Odoo version. You can rename the profile to reflect the associated Odoo version if needed. Please refer to your browser manual for this. We also need to set the filter for Odoo 17. Please remember the filter used here requires the database names end with number 17 for Odoo 17 and 18 for Odoo 18. If your databases don't follow this rule, Odoo will not show nor use them. Please remember that this setup is for developing Odoo 1 version at a time. To run both version at the same time the HTTP port and G event port must be different for each version. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss my experiments and tutorials.